Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Rock Tio Studio and today is another art journal page done in my junk journal. Link to the video where I made the the journal in real time is in is below the video in the box. And the prompt for today, which is day seven, is gift. And boy that's that's a that prompt you could like think of a thousand things, but what I was thinking about was Happy Mail and the gift of other artists who have supported me and my channel and um, one way that, that people support me sometimes if they like my stuff is they send me Happy Mail. I don't ask for it. I don't know um, what motivates it particularly, but <laughs> sometimes people send me Happy Mail and it's great stuff great stuff and I've hardly even used the the amount of happy mail that I have like I've barely touched even a drop of it um, people have sent me huge boxes of things so I decided for this gift page I would use all happy mail with the exception of glue and paint um, that type of stuff obviously mine but everything else that I used on the page was given to me and I'm starting out with these, uh, a piece of gift tissue, which I thought was very appropriate. Uh, I have a whole box of different pattern tissue um, that someone sent me. And then I have a lot of paper napkins that, that I have collected from doing paper napkin swaps and having Happy Mail. Um, the two I'm using here are, were sent to me. The same person who sent all the, the printed tissue paper also sent these napkins, I think. I I think so. <laughs> She'll tell us if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, it was a big box and I may have put some of the other things in it. I just now carried this box from my old studio to my new studio. A couple big boxes that um, had been sitting on a table in my old studio that I hadn't uh, integrated into my stuff. Like, I know that I've thanked the people for giving it to me. I've made videos and so it should have already been sorted and integrated into my boxes of things so that I can use it, but I just hadn't done that yet. So um, these, all these things were in those boxes. So I used fluid matte medium. You remember how we've talked about different types of matte medium and and glossy medium and why you use different ones at different times. I prefer to use the fluid on these lightweight papers and so I used the fluid matte medium from Liquitex uh, to stick down these three different papers onto my pages and then I used my two inch soft rubber brayer with a little bit of gesso to um, just kind of randomly put some white gesso over this background which was very bright still is bright <laughs> especially because I come back in with more paint so I wanted to add some shimmer and to kind of uh, unify the whole background you know I used three different items in the background which all coordinate with each other but it wasn't really they're not unified so I'm using PBO um, iridescent paints and just applying them randomly with my finger here and there um, another reason I did that was because there is still some uh, text showing through. I didn't put gesso on the page before I put the napkins and tissue on there, not thinking about the fact that those things are very see-through once they're wet, and so you could still see some of the text, which was bugging me, so I added some acrylic paint in order to um, kind of unify the page as well as detract from that text showing through from the Comcast ad or whatever it was Verizon ad I don't know so then the next thing I did was uh, to get out some archival inks and I'm trying out different colors of what I want to use pick these four and then I have a stamp set from Stampin Up it's probably discontinued but the image these type of images are very very common I will be able to find um, some other stamp, stamp set that's close enough to put in the materials list if I can't find this one. Um, most of my, I have a ton of Stampin' Up! stamps because I used to be a demonstrator. I was a demonstrator for over 10 years and I collected a lot of stamps. So 
I have all those stamps, but they are mostly discontinued at this point. But I'm not going to go replace them because they're discontinued. So if you see me using stamps, they're usually discontinued ones from Stampin' Up. Because um, that's what I have. So that's what I'm going to use, and that's what I recommend you guys do too. If you have stamps, use them. I don't use them very often. I used to, to make so much stamp stuff, and I don't anymore. So this particular stamp set is what is called a two-step stamp set. It has different parts of the flowers as separate stamps. So there's a flower, there's a center, there's a stem. And uh, Stamina had a lot of these type of stamps useful because you can easily make multicolored images um, you know, by using different colors rather than having to color onto the stamp in the different areas. That Stampin' Up! is a good company. I just, uh, I burned myself out. <laughs> so then I also had this background stamp, which is a crosshatch type of a pattern. And I used some Memento Tuxedo Black to just kind of stamp that into the background too and bring in some darks. I um, used all the inks that are permanent when dry. But I did not dry this. I just moved on to the next thing. And I was putting down these paper doilies that I got in Happy Mail. Um, colorful paper doilies. No idea where these came from. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen them. But I don't shop that much. But um, I should have dried it really thoroughly. I should have dried the ink because the black ink smeared when I put the fluid matte medium on there. So... It didn't affect the overall product, but it did kind of annoy me slightly. And I think it's just because it wasn't dry. It was in the Mento Tuxedo Black, which is definitely a permanent, permanent, permanent ink. But because it was going over a plastic surface, I should have dried it. So then, um, more Happy Mail. These Prima Paper Flowers. Colorful Prima Paper Flowers. Beautiful ones. Um first time I've used them. Had them in that box all this time. I wished I would have remembered that I had them. Uh, that's what happens in art studios. You put stuff away and then you forget. <laughs> so these are beautiful. They're the only, the, my only complaint is that this red Prima Flower bleeds when you put the glue on it. None of the other colors did, but the red one did. I don't know why. That's crazy. So I got a little bit of a red smear onto my quote, my um, Herbert Humphrey quote, which I think is very appropriate for the page. I printed that on my computer, of course. And I didn't seal it, and then I smeared it too. So <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's mixed media. It's not that big a deal just having a good time so I'm using the gel matte medium now um, this is the one that I use most often and I'm putting a lot of it on the backs of these flowers and then pressing them down and ooking them on there um, yeah that's a technical term <laughs> getting uh, medium all over my hands which then I had to peel off later so this bag of sequins w was sent to me by the same person who sent me the flowers and yeah, I have sequins. I I didn't think that, you know, sequins are that big a deal. Oh my word! These sequins are so cool! There's holographic ones in there. And there's big ones and small ones, and I figure out that I can layer the small ones onto the big ones. Um, I'm excited at this point. I was having so much fun with this sequence. Yeah, I'm easily entertained. <laughs> um, really cool sequins a couple of them are like flower shaped instead of being well not completely flower shaped but flower ish shaped instead of being round there these are awesome sequins thank you thank you for sending me them i didn't know that there was such cool sequins out there i thought a sequin was a sequin was a sequin who knew so then that side of my page happy with it pretty much um this side what am i gonna do so I get out some more of the flowers from the box of flowers and I'm going to put those in a, in a corner like that. That looks good. I like that. 
and then I have another doily it's a heart shaped one this one but I thought the white uh, behind the flowers would make the flowers you know stand out more and I had doilies on the other side so then I didn't know what to put in that other space so I have this little plastic box of things that people have sent me these are small things that um, have come in swaps as you know extra goodies or have been sent to me usually in with other stuff like mostly swaps I think I used to do a lot of swapping and so people would send extra little things when you swapped a tag or something then you'd get extras in there and so I had them all in this plastic box that's when I that's where I started storing all of them so I have just these little things that uh, people have sent different times I don't really know who sent what have some uh, lacy looking die cuts which I thought was appropriate because they look a lot like doilies so I thought well I'll use those so they're made they're cut out of double-sided scrapbook paper and ones you know the colors are are not as bright as the page but they are the right toned colors to go on the page so I decided to use the two butterflies and they had an extra ring around them that I took off um, I thought at first that it, it should come off on its own that it wouldn't be part of the image but I think maybe it's so that you can pop it you can you can glue down that outer edge and then pop up the wings and have a 3d butterfly I think is what the idea was behind the the die cut but I just took them off because I didn't want it 3d because it's just gonna get squashed in here anyway all this stuff is gonna get squashed flat so then I put down my doily and then I start building up my flower cluster on this edge and again using the gel matte medium which is thick so it's easy to stick these things down I could have used probably tacky glue but um, I did go over them and like push them down they're not completely flat but they're pretty flat because this is a you know an art journal page I don't want them to be standing out I want them to lay down flat so that's the reason that I used that gel medium because it's easier to make things lay flat and stick it's thick it's like kind of like paste so definitely the right glue for this so then of course more sequins in the centers of the flowers because that's so fun <laughs> I still loving the, the sequins I decided to put some in the center of the butterflies as well um, like for their little bodies to be more interesting so yeah I put some dots of glue down first and I just used tacky glue um, if I was really concerned about this you know things coming off of this or whatever I would have used some other type of glue uh, to put all my sequins in and then you know put them down and then filled them back, filled in the tops maybe with like crystal uh, what's that stuff called I, I call it crystal effects but that's not what it's called Ranger has has it oh, what's it called I can't think of it right now but I would have used that and they would be a lot more permanent if you put some of that underneath put the sequin on and then fill up the whole of the sequin with more of that stuff um, oh, crystal effects what is it called it's gonna drive me crazy till I remember anyway then I decided that wasn't enough sequins I was gonna just kind of scatter them around here and there because I was having so much fun with them so I used the tiny ones um, and just like put them around the edges of the flower clusters as well I was just having too much fun and of course on video you can't see how shimmery and shiny and blingy this page is I do have one photo at the end that was taken on my desk as the the sunshine was starting to shine in and shining on all the glittery shimmery blingy stuff um, really pretty I wish you could see it in person because it's it's very girly <laughs> you know the bling the bling is there I had a, a lot of fun doing this a little bit different than some other stuff I've been doing lately but very very uh, 
me very my colors and my style definitely so then of course I can't stand it when I just glue stuff on there and there's no anything making it cohesive so I used my Stabilo all pencil to go around the edges and um, add a shadow which also makes them look like they're part of the page makes them uh, become part of the page I, I don't know how else to say it I've said it so many times and I'm still not sure that I make sense <laughs> when I say it because I don't know exactly what I should say but it definitely works and of course I want to do it around every single flower but I'm like hurrying trying to get this page done because the Sun comes in at 2 o'clock in the window and it ruins my light and so I have to pretty much stop filming at 2 o'clock every day somewhere around 2 o'clock <laughs> so I also do it around the edges of the quote which I think makes it stand out more and I'm doing it messy kind of uh, watery colory looking and I do end up going around the flowers as well but you don't see it on the, the video because I had to turn the video off I do the edges with black ink pad to uh, bring the focus in by having dark edges and also to add some more of that black um, over the whole composition and then I add glitter to the butterfly wings with some stickles glitter glue and I think that that is the last thing I do so if you've enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up uh, leave me a comment so that I know you were here and of course subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't done that and share the page if you want to on Facebook or Pinterest that's it for me thanks bye bye